What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Now let me start by saying that this game felt a lot like week one. Daniel Jones got sacked 11 times. He also fumbled the ball setting up Seattle in the red zone in which they scored a touchdown a couple plays later. He also threw two interceptions with one being returned 97 yards for a touchdown and that was pretty much the backbreaker for the game. Now, Daniel Jones played bad, and I can't sugarcoat it at all. That said, it's hard to be successful when you're sacked 11 times, no matter what quarterback you are. Wandale Robinson had a solid night, in my opinion, offensively. He had five catches for 40 yards, and it's good to see him get going. Remember, he's still coming back from the torn ACL, so that's why I consider that a positive. So I'm men I, I was pretty mentally drained just from watching that game. So I'm not really going to yell much. Just this offensive line feels like it just keeps getting worse each week. John Michael Schmitz left early after that draw, after that uh, QB sneak play on fourth and one that failed. And basically that was it in terms of the offensive line being able to protect Jones. Once he left, the offensive line couldn't stop anything. And unfortunately, I think this offense will be completely dreadful until Andrew Thomas and or Saquon Barkley get back. And the schedule is, uh, for the next two weeks is really tough at Miami and at Buffalo. So defensively, I think Thibodeau looked good. He had two sacks and almost had an interception as well. Still, there were a lot of missed tackles, during the, especially later on in the game, including with Noah Fan. He almost took it to the end zone right before the half. However, later on in the game, it didn't really matter that much because once the pick six happened, you just knew that they were, they were out of it and had no chance. So I really, I really don't know where the Giants go from here. On one hand, I think Daniel Jones deserves a lot of blame, especially for the pick six and fumbling near his own end zone. But at the same time, it's hard to blame him entirely given that his offensive line just can't protect him no matter what. Evan Neal was bad again, and I really don't know what else to say about him at this point other than that he's a bust. I hope they somehow improve, but their next two games, uh, as I mentioned before, are against the Dolphins and the Bills respectively, which will, only, which will probably be very tough to watch, and I don't see it going well at all. But that's going to do it for this one. If you're new here, please subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.